So now after that let's add the text fields. So we will apply some padding first and inside that is on the text fields which we are adding that will be inside this padding. That is on that text fields we want to apply padding from all sides. So we can say agent sets dot all and from all sides we want to apply 22. Now for the letter use we can add comments here so that we can remember that this is our these inside this we have our text fields which we will implement now of course. So let's add our first text field. In order to use text fields that is to take input from a user we need some controllers so whenever a user type in the text field that text will be assigned automatically to the controllers which you can get and save it to the database. So for example for now we will take the text setting controller and we will give it name as email text setting controller. And then similarly let's copy paste this. The next one will be password text editing controller. So now for the email we can say controller email text editing controller and then the type that is the input type keyboard what kind of keyboard we want to appear when this text field is active that is when the user start typing in it so we can say text input type dot email address input decoration will be label and the label will be we can say name or you can say username and that is label text okay not label label text next thing is the style if you want to apply on this label so it is called label style for example we want only the font size to be 14 let's say if you want to change the color you can apply the color on it as well okay after the text style, uh, the label style, we can apply the hint. We can add the hint text. That is, in the text field, if the text field is empty, you will see a hint. So, if you want to apply the hint text, then you can write that, for example, username. But there is no need to apply the hint. And also, for example, you can also apply the style on the hint text, which is by the name hint style. Okay. So, if you want to add the hint. Uh, text then you can use these two properties of the text field which is called hint text and if you want to apply hint style then it is hint style property okay we do not want that we will leave that then comes the the text color which the user will type inside this text field so for that purpose after the input decoration we can apply style and we can change the color of that text to any color you want. So for example, I want for it the color to be gray color. So this is our user email. Okay, let me just copy paste this one two times further. User email, user password. So the first one is username so we can say username text editing controller email and then password so the first one is the username and the input type for this will be text then we have email so we can say user email and then we have user password 
which is password text editing controller and the input type for this of course will be text now as this is password so we want it in secure form that is in dotted form so for that we have this obscure text property for a text field which will be we will set to true so now when the user type password it will be like secure text in dotted form so yeah this is our password this is email this is username let's add some space between them and then we can test our application height 22 height 22 now let's install the app on our phone so this is how it looks so you can type the name email here and of course the password so what we need to do is we need to add now here a button which will be basically the sign up button we will apply some style on this button and the background color for this will be purple then after style comes the name for this button which will be sign up so it looks like this as you can see now we can also apply padding on our this uh, button in order to increase its size horizontal wise for example we can say agent sets dot symmetric and if we say horizontally we want it to be let's say 80 so now if you check then the size of this horizontally padding is applied on it you can say the size increase like this also you can increase this vertically for example I will simply say vertical and let's say if I want it 40 then you will notice the difference okay as you can see if I want it 20 so it is totally up to you how you want your button to be I will just go with uh, 10 is okay as you can see okay so yeah this is how you can apply padding on the elevated buttons now after this elevated button after here you have to write text fields plus button okay which is the sign up button after that we have to use a text button which will be if the user already have an account then the user can go to the login page so for that purpose in flutter we have a button by the name text button on pressed and the name for this text button will be already have an account login here let's apply some textile on it the color for this will be gray so this is our already have an account login here button now of course if you want you can add some space for example uh, you can increase the space between the text field and button let's increase it to 32 okay and then also we can add some space we have to make sure that after the padding even there is already some space but we want to make sure that we give some space here as well after the text field and the sign up button that is here as you can see already have an account login here so this is our already have an account button when the user click on it we want the user to go to the login screen so you can say material page root context 
and we have our login screen so this is all about our sign up screen now also let's quickly design the login screen which is easy all you need to do is just copy this whole scaffold widget from here and go to the login screen here just replace it with this consp test holder like that and then from the sign up screen you can copy these text fields also text editing controllers also and we can pass that text editing controllers here here we need only the email and password in order to log in okay so it will be the same that is here we, we can only say that uh, login as a user then inside the padding we do not need the username text field on the login so we remove that also this space we do not need we need only the email the password and then of course the login button and then after it we have to write here don't don't have an account register here or you can say sign up here let's test our application to see how it looks and also the starting point now we can change to login screen okay that is our app will start from the login screen here where we have write this title here you have to put colon here okay after the slash after the slash you can write colon so now let's see how it looks so you see login as user don't have an account register here and make sure that on the login screen when the user click here we will send the user to the sign up screen so when the user click here on this don't have account register here then it will send the user to the sign up screen as you can see and when the user click on already have an account login here and it will send the user to the login screen now on the sign up screen uh, alongside with username email password there is one more information which we will take as an input from a user and that will be the user phone number so you can copy paste this okay it is simple and all you need to do is you can simply type here user phone text rating controller so after the after the inside okay after the username text editing controller you can simply copy paste this down here and just write here user phone and this is our user phone text editing controller and let's add some space between the username and the user phone and that's it you can see that okay